Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess and I'm so glad that you guys are joining me today. So welcome to my new viewers and my returning viewers. We are going to be working in my Bujo, which is what I've been using for like my daily pages. Um, so I've been daily planning since 2020 when I started using cloth and paper and then Happy Planner came out with daily pages. And then in 2024, I started using a bullet journal, like a dot grid notebook and kind of creating like a daily Bujo. Um, I'm not going to do a flip through of what I have in here so far. Um, like part of me kind of wants to do like a flip through every single video, but if you guys get tired of seeing that, yeah. So let me know, drop me a comment. Would you like to see my daily Bujo in every single video? Like see kind of like what I've been doing um, because I'm always happy to do like little flip throughs. And especially as I get like farther into this, um, I'll just kind of do like quick flips or just do like a portion of the flip so yeah drop me a comment let me know I'm ha always happy to I'm really curious what what do people want to see um okay so we're using the joyful expressions which this is a big sticker book and I didn't realize it when I when I purchased it actually what this actually reminds me of is the color stories um like I I kind of love it like it's lots of different stickers um but yeah I super love it and what I would really like to do because I need to set up I like to I want to set up at least two pages um I want to start using scrap paper that's what I want to start doing like I don't I've got scrap paper it's kind of stuff that I've kind of like collected over the years um, you know what? Let's use this Happy Planner stuff. Mainly because, like, some of what I wanted to use was going to be these. Um, and then I also really wanted to use these. I love this right here. This is part of the Take Care of You sticker book. And I just absolutely, absolutely love that. Where do I want to use those? No. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the paper. So this is actually, um, this is like memory keeping. It's not like your regular scrapbook paper. So as you see, like it has, like you can put pictures and stuff with it. Um, I want to use this one though, because I want to use part of this. I think when I got this, I was like, oh, I'm going to try, I'm going to try scrapbooking. And it just didn't work. <gasps> I want to use this one. Okay, we're, we're going to use this. So I decided that since I'm not a scrapbooker, I'm not a memory keeper, um, keeping my planners is like my form of memory keeping. So I decided that I am going to plan on just kind of using it like as regular scrapbook paper. So let's go ahead and kind of trim this down because what I would like to do is I would like to basically put it in like the top two corners or the top corner and then the bottom corner. So the easiest way I figured for that would be to take this and trim it to size and then we're gonna do this one yeah that's okay um yeah and so now what I'm gonna do is okay thinking let's just like tear it along there I need my Tombow. So I love the Tombow Dots Adhesive. It's basically what I use for like anything that I need to um, use like a double-sided tape. I, I started using the regular Tombow Adhesive, but I definitely realized that the Dots Adhesive is the one that I prefer. And I'm just going to line it up on both the side and the top and then because you know I want to have like that clean little corner I will show you what I will do for that but let's just go ahead and kind of just trim it off because 
obviously I didn't do a perfect job. One of my absolute favorite purchases, it is a rounded corner tool. So basically you just put it in, punch it and boom, look at that. All right, so we've got that and then um, you know, actually, yes, I do want to do, yeah, because I do want to do that because I want it to be like, oh, maybe I should do it like, oh, no, we're not, we're not going to, we're going to, we're going to do this one, but I will have to kind of find like other ways that I can be able to use this scrapbook paper. So in that way it's not wasted. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this one down. And we're going to go, I am, I'm hoping to get, so it is Sunday night. I would love to kind of get like my planners all updated. Um, oh, hold on, stickers. Okay, let's before, as I want to do this, um, I think what we're going to do, like what if I was to kind of do like, oh, <gasps> Yes. Okay, I have an idea. What color do we want to do, though, for the hourly? Because I love the hourly. Um, like, I love my, my, my little hourly and stuff. I'm kind of thinking, kind of thinking the blue. Yes, I like the blue. I will probably keep, like, this one out maybe for the next page. But, yeah, so I'm thinking that was not good. Okay, let's try again. I love this washi, but sometimes it tears way too easily. Um, this is from Aurora Estelle. Probably like once I'm done with this washi, I, I do plan on buying more. <laughs> like I'm not, I this is not washi that I would be like, oh, I absolutely do not recommend because I do recommend it. Okay, let's go ahead. I would think I would like to put it like right here and then we're gonna end at the 11 and I need to kind of clean that up now. So what I like to do for whenever I use like the hourly washi, which I've been basically using it every single day, I like to put in little dots and then like write in the letters there. But I like, there's just certain things that I like to actually kind of time block mainly because of the fact that I do work like a regular nine to five job during the day, um, especially well, obviously during the week. So I can't, I don't necessarily like time block probably in a way that other people do. Um, but I do like to, there's certain things that I like to kind of notate. And honestly, I kind of just do it because I love the look of it. I think it's pretty. So I want to kind of clean this up. Actually, we're gonna, I'm going to leave that. I didn't like how that looked, but I'm going to just leave it like that. And I want to put like some of these around. I was kind of thinking that it'd be fun to use this for like to kind of put in the date. Um, and then some of them I just want to just kind of have because I think that they're cute. So we're gonna put that. Um, so what I also like to do for these is I like to kind of have like a space for to-do list. What I think I've decided for this one, cause normally I'll do like one section for home, one section for social media. I think this one, I'm just gonna have just one complete, one total list. Um, and maybe what I will do is I will, do a maybe like different colors for whether it's social media or whether it's home. Um, I yeah, I'll kind of figure that out. But for now, I'm just going to continue to put all these little fun designs everywhere because I don't know, I'm kind of digging this. This is fun. And I think what I'm also going to do because some of them are like some of them are just singular. So I want to kind of create like my own little designs. And then I do want some pink. 
Got to have some pink in there. I'm going to put the pink actually at the top and I'm going to divide this and use it also over here. And then, because then I can go along with that and just kind of place in that one. This is fun. And let's do, I feel like I've got a lot of blue. I feel like I need some yellow down here. So I'm going to use this one. But yeah, I'm just, I'm having fun with this. And what I can actually use this for is I can be able to write in the word uh, to do or notes or, you know, kind of whatever. And I will use that as my, my header. Um, do we want to do a box? I think I want to do a box. I'm going to do a box that's kind of slightly different than what I have done in the past, though. I'm going to, how dark is this? Oh, that is super dark. We do not want a dark gray. We want a lighter gray. So I'm going to try this one. That is still too dark. Where's my lighter gray markers? I think that may have to work because, hold on, let's try this one. I can never remember. Ah, oh, this is, this one works. I'm like, I can never remember what is what. And I don't know where my, well, okay, I know where my, my notebook is. I'm just way too lazy to grab my notebook and kind of look at like the colors and such. And then I think we're just going to bring it out to the edge and do like that. And then I like to, or I think for this one, I also want to kind of bring in like a little bit of the design over the highlighter. Um, I've seen this done on other spreads and I kind of really like the idea of it. I think, I feel like I've even done it kind of before, but you just draw over it to kind of give it like your own look kind of create like your own box and then from here let's pick two colors that I want to use let's say that I want to use pink and yellow so yellow will be for home pink will be for social media and then I'll just do a little dot and that's kind of really cute. I like this. <laughs> this. This one's perfect. We're done with that one. Now I want to do a, do I want to do more scrap of paper? I think I want to do more scrap of paper because I want to use this though. Um, what I wish that I had, I wish that I had saved the paper from the most recent Be Happy box. I'm kind of sad that I didn't. All right, for the take care of your mind, I am kind of thinking, like, let's just flip through here. I kind of like this one with it. Let's let's do this one. Um, and it's just over that, that, that's perfectly fine. All right, so for this one, what I'm gonna do, instead of doing, um, what I did with this one, I'm going to do the top and I'm going to do the bottom. So in this case, I am going to take this and I'm just going to cut out just a section. Um, I am perfectly okay with not cutting like the corner. I will use my tool for the corner. All right, let's see if that worked. So glad that I didn't tear or I didn't cut through to the other page, but that's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I didn't. I would have, it would have been okay if I did. Okay, so now that we have this, what I'm gonna do with this sheet, because obviously it is long enough, I want to, ooh, actually, yes. We're gonna do that. I kind of like that look with where it has like the white on it. And I think we are going to, oh, <laughs> where's my page? Oh, okay, it didn't, it's not quite long enough. 
I didn't cut it very well. Okay, that's okay. We we will work with it. Do I, oh, do I want to do that? Or do I want that? This is what I do. I'm doing this. Yes. Okay. I, yeah, I, I kind of love like the contrast and it's not super contrasted, but I like the look of it. Um, and I'm actually, what I actually think that I'm going to do is for this one, I'm also going to use the take care of your mind. Um, mainly because I think that there's a quote that I want to use for it. So we're going to just put that down there. And then this one, we are going to tape it. I am so excited about this. I, I don't use, like, I, I really don't use scrapbook paper in mine. Um, it's kind of one of the things where, like, I've bought scrapbook paper with the intent to use it. I just... I just tend to forget. Okay, that one probably could have gone over a little bit more, but that's okay. Um, so I am excited about the fact that I'm kind of being like a little bit more intentional about using it. Um, and I feel like the Bujo, the bullet journal is a perfect option for using scrapbook paper. Okay, punch, and then we're gonna punch this one. Yeah, it didn't like punch super nice, but whatever, that's fine. I can also slightly trim it off myself too, I guess. Okay, so now I have this. One of my ideas was using these. And then in this one, I don't think, I don't think I've used the quote yet, uh, but there is a quote Oh, I like this one. Storms don't last forever, but I kind of want to save that for my journaling. Um, here we go. Don't feel bad for feeling bad. I want to use uh, this quote. And because I'm going to use, we're going to do this. Whoops. Like I was kind of thinking of that. Actually, maybe I think what I want to do is I want to do it just how it was in the book. Where we have the sun up here and then we have the storm clouds on either side. So we're going to do this one right here. I think it's so cute. I love these stickers so much. I have been I had been sitting on the Joyful Expression sticker book for a while and then Happy Planner had their um like they had a most most recently they had it was like you buy more save more for stick for sticker books um i was already getting the brighter day sticker bundle and i just was like you know what there's a couple sticker books that i want um one of them was the recovery um because these are like great for journaling and i really really wanted it for these little stickers, a little happy, sad, or just kind of okay. Um, because I, I want to be able to use those in my, my wellness journal. So I just decided, I'm like, let me just go ahead. Since I'm already getting one sticker book, let me go ahead and add on one more. That way I at least get some kind of discount. Um, it actually, and it, it was a good discount. So... I went ahead and grabbed the Joyful joyful Expressions because of the fact that I had been sitting on that one. Okay, so for this one, obviously with that quote there, I can't really do much with that. However, ooh, okay, this kind of like, ooh, it, may have, it may have been a bad idea. Or maybe I just go ahead and have some fun with it and still do that. I think I'm I think I'm cool with that. I don't think that this one has 
don't think that this one has like boxes. Um, I kind of want to use the little, I kind of want to use the little lightning bolts. No, I don't because I feel like it's going to take up a little too much room. So we're not going to use that. Um, but I do want to use this little flower right here. I just think it's cute and why not? Okay, now next, um, next, next, next. Yeah, this one, it really doesn't have, like I was kind of thinking just like one little box, doesn't really have that. So instead, this one ha does have boxes. I am gonna use one of these boxes. Let's go with this pink. But I know you guys have seen in other videos where I like to take a box, cut it in half, and then just kind of use it like that. So that's what we're gonna do for that because I don't need it to be super big. But this is basically like gonna be like my, my date box, sort of, like where I'm gonna be putting in the date. And then um, what I'm gonna do Ooh, okay, I think what I want to do is I want to kind of cre I want to create like a box over here. I'm going to do the same thing what I did for the other for the other one. And now I can't remember like which I think it was. I think this one was a little I can't find my marker now. <laughs> the gray that I was using, I, I, I can't find it. I don't know. I think I put it away and I don't know which one. Maybe this one, let's just, yes, that's the one, okay. I, yeah, I wanna kinda do the same thing. Let's just kinda go like here and, uh, we're gonna bring it down all the way down here. And then we're gonna do, boom, boom. And this is where I'm gonna take my pen and we're just gonna draw in. I feel like that's gonna be plenty of room to kind of like give me space to write. I'm actually gonna extend it out just a little bit just cause I really like how that looks. Okay, that's kind of cute. I like how it's like I'm gonna be able like I have my hourly on both of them. I'm gonna be able to kind of just like write down there. I have room to just kind of write in, um, like my do my little thing in there. Oh my goodness, you guys, these are so stinking cute. Do you have a favorite? I honestly think that this one's my favorite, but I'm really excited to use both. So let me know your thoughts. Um, again, these came from Joyful Expressions. This is a super cute book. It reminds me so much of Color Story. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much. Thumbs up, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.